Is your sister still here? She brings a nice atmosphere to the house, doesn't she? It's so been four weeks. She's not doing any harm. You need to ask her to leave. I'll consider it. I like her a bit more than you sometimes, actually. She's your sister you're meant to like. Oh. I'll get it. If you could have beat her. Who is it, dear? Oh, yes, come Hi. in. Yes, come Bernadette. in. Bernadette! Hello. Oh, nice to see you Good again. Good to see you, Nate. Nice this is see. Rob. Nice to see you. Be nice to Rob. This is Rob? Yes, it's Rob. This is Rob. Beautiful. Which Rob? The Rob. The Rob. Okay. So, the Rob. Is that your name? Rob. What do you do for a living then, Rob? How many wars have you been in? Um, I don't killed? actually fight in war. I help for the UN. I'm a peacekeeper. He's the chief peacekeeper. Chief peacekeeper? Does he stop? Do you stop wars? What's this? I hear about war? About violence? Violence is never the answer. We make love, not war. He stops us from fighting wars. Bernadette? Yes. Who's this? This is Rob. Rob? Rob. Another Rob? No, 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 no. There's never been another Rob. This is the first Rob. Are you sure? I am sure. Well, Rob, it's very what? nice to meet you. Oh, I don't like any of this witchcraft business you do. What do you say? Oh. Oh no. What do you say? Oh. Oh no. <sighs> Darling. Are you sure about <laughs> your sexuality? You what? Hang on a second. Rob, I need a word with you. <laughs> What do you mean, sexuality? I'm getting some bad vibes. This so, Rob, tell me a bit about what you need to ask me. Guy sense you need to talk. Mm -hmm. Come on, speak up. I got here. You look pregnant, dear. Pregnant? I'm not pregnant. I'd like to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. You asked my permission? Yes. What? That's what me hungry. You ask me? Fine, I'll just leave it. Rob, get out of my I'm house. If you name it. But I'm pregnant. Who was that again? Rob! When are you bringing home the next Rob? I just can't help it. I'm a serial robber. Hello there, welcome back to my dungeon for the exquisite interview in ITV with the Grand Boys. Now, and your name is? Jordan, baby. Jordan, as in J-A-W. That's it. Right. And yours is? Osama Bin Laden Jr. Os Osama Bin Laden, right. Junior. Alright. You need so. to specify because I've been mistaken so many times, it's not good. The Junior specifically? Yes. Right. Arrested many, many times. So, where did you start? Where, how did you meet? How did you become the Grand Boys? Well, uh, it's uh, the name uh, Grandma always called us the, the Grand Boys when we were growing up and we thought that would be a mm -hmm. pretty cool band name. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Well, she wasn't really our grandma. She sort of picked up, up, picked us up in a park when we were like 15, 16. So we just called her our grandma, 15 basically. Months? 15 years old, yeah. Years? Yeah. We were not, we were very like, not developed at that point. Right, and mm -hmm. how old are you, how old are you now? I, do you even know at this point? Do we even know? No, man. A, we don't know. I know. All right then. Um, yeah, baby. You can call her a grandma, I guess. Originally, she was our grandpa, but she did have a sex change operation well right. into her. She was at 95, I think, when she did. 95? Yeah. Okay. She's very, very old, but, you know, is she still, active, so is, she's... Is she still going strong today? Yeah, she's 175 oh. today. Wow, 175? Mm, I know. That's amazing, actually. It is. Oh, it's... All right, okay. All right, why, um, why the name? Now, well, my the first part of my name, you know, my dad was sort of drunk in the hospital, you know, mm -hmm. um, and you know I've sort of inherited some of his stuff. I'll just find myself snapping at people sometimes. You know, me and Mike Tyson have a lot in common. He bit someone's ear off. You know, that's actually how I got the gloves. Okay. I bit Mike Tyson's ear off, and you know, th that's how you get boxing gloves. It's like handed down. I didn't know he was missing bit of an ear. Yeah, well, he is now. Okay, okay. And rating, food rating, camera on me, five out of ten. Mike Tyson's ear wouldn't eat it again. It's not that good. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. What's your um? What's your fan base like? How many are watching you or listening to your things? It's got to be in the tens at least. Oh, at least in the decades, mate. Uh, Facebook, we've got uh, about two likes on our Facebook page. Uh, true, the the two likes are us to boost the um. Uh, but uh, YouTube, we've got a lot more. Really, and how about roughly a number in the hundreds? Four. Four. Yeah. So four. All right. So just four, not four hundred. Double the amount, of course, on the right, Facebook. Right. Yeah. I guess. See. Um. Where do you for your concerts, the next album? Where's that going to be? Are you are you on tour recently or? Well, we uh we recently recorded a new single for our upcoming album, uh, right. Grand Boys on the Run. Right. Um. Uh, the the song is of course called Grand Boys on the Run as right. well. Mm -hmm. It's one of many songs on the album. We we wrote. 40, 50, 60, I can't remember actually. It's We wrote about, yeah, 40. Yeah, uh, but uh, most of them are covers as well, which is hard because we've just been sued by so many music production companies, they just yeah. don't want us to do the songs for whatever reason. We've been sued by Sony Music, you know, Universal Studios, we've been sued by Pizza Hut, just stuff like that. It's all over the place. All right, okay. So, Jordan, I'll start with you. Yeah. Um, what else do you do when you're not a grand boy with Osama Lund Jr.? Yeah, what do you do? What do, what do you do in your hobbies? Well, I'm just a muso, mate. I'm a muso all my life. Uh, it's all I know. It's all I love. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it, really. Do you so any specific music that you listen to to get inspiration? All I listen to, really, is our own stuff. It really is the best. Right, okay. And Osama Bin Laden Jr., how about you? What do you do in your spare time when you're not... <sighs> well... Or... It's gotten harder nowadays on a band from so many stores, but I like to go down to Bunnings, buy a lot of light bulbs, just crush it up and, you know, just sniff the fillings. The fillings? Yeah, it's really, like, intense for me. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a comedian, I have to say, you know. I'll get down to, like, open mic nights, comedy, and I see how long I can go without getting booed off the stage. My record is 13 seconds, as you know. Do you mind if I tell a little bit of a joke now during this interview? Um, sure, anyway. This one is for our old crew member from the band. He had to leave, unfortunately. Critics didn't like him. We love you, RIP. All right, camera on me. How do you get a dead baby out of a blender? Doritos. All right, well, 10 years from now. Yeah. Last question, we wrap this all up. Uh, 10 years from now, where do you see the Grand Boys going? Well, uh, we've projected figures uh, for about uh, nine. Nine. Nine are YouTube uh, subscribers, and uh, hopefully double up the Facebook viewers to four. So, two? Yes. Right, so two, all right. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, well, um, all hopes to you. Thank um, you. Thank you. I think you're terrible, but we, we see what, let's see what happens, okay? Thank you, f uh, thank you for coming down, and uh, we will see, hopefully, I'll see you again. Thank you for that. And um, you're terrible. Thank you for this, thank you for this, in thank you for watching. <sighs> yeah, baby. Um, would you like to show us a bit of a show of your music? Oh, absolutely. How about that track? Let's go for 200, it. 200, yeah. Track 200? And there's a star man waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but he thinks he'd blow our minds. There's a star man waiting in the sky. And and I knew to the truth, but he knows if I went for tell me, let the children use it, let the children.